What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. We are out on the lake after work for like one hour, 45 minutes, something like that. So, and I got a special guest with me. It's my buddy Robert, straight Hi, out of Tennessee. This is the second time he's been out on the ice. So, we came out one time, drilled some holes just so we could kind of experience it, but that was early ice. All right, guys, so we've punched uh, six, eight holes, something like that. Never mark anything in the others, but uh, looked like we had some suspended fish in this one. So we're going to get set up over here for a second, see what we can see. Well, dang, man. Here, I'll let you play with them a little bit. Yeah. Let's see if you can get anything. I'll punch a couple more holes here before we run out of time. I don't want to get too close to this out of here, but. Yeah, it's a little bit slushy right there. That's <laughs> all right. Those little, those little clutter lines, that's something different. But there's, I mean, there's a fish just, see it moving up to it? Yeah. They're, I mean, they, either that or they're just little, little, little fish. And they're, they can't get that jig in their mouth, maybe. There's one. Yep. There we go. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Yep, there you go. That is a little white crappie? <laughs> Holy cow. There we go, little tiny white crappie. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Send him back home. That's fun. There he goes. Here's a fish, Robbie. <laughs> first ice fishing fish, first Minnesota fish, right? Right. Heck yeah, buddy. Let's get down there and see if we can get one hooked up for you here. Looks like your line's tangled. Oh, at the top. Thanks. Uh oh, I have there. There you go. Is that good enough? Yeah, I think you are. It's tangled. Uh oh. It's just re it's the resistance on the end of yeah. the rod. I thought at first, I was like, no, it's a fish, sweet. But see, the problem with these crappie is that if that was, that's what you're marking over there, they, they move a lot. So, I mean, just because they're in a hole here doesn't mean they're necessarily going to stay long. Let's see if we can get them to come up yeah. to it. See them yeah, moving? moving? Yeah. They are hungry today. Yes, sir. That's cool. That's the first white crappie I've caught in a long time. Because normally you catch a black crappie, and they're the ones that have that more like greenish tint to them. Mm -hmm. you never know if they're feeding from the bottom or they're coming to the top. Right, right. Because typically the the more you know the bigger or more active or more aggressive fish are going to be at the top of them water column, but not always, you know. Come on, fish. Yeah, they moved up to it, didn't they? All right, guys, so we are almost out of time, but we got one white crappie, which I haven't caught in a really long time. So, unfortunately, Rob wasn't able to get one. He's gotten a few bites, but uh, no, no fish. So, Next time, we'll have to try next time, but uh, seems like the fish here, so we started drilling shallow, working our way deep. We're in, what are we in here, 15, we're in like 30 feet of water. So this is actually the, the hole here. There's actually an aerator right there. So we are past the thin ice signs. We're still on like eight inches of ice, but 
you know, the closer we get to the, the open hole there, the probably the fishing will be better, but it's just not worth uh, getting any closer to the bubbler over there. So we're gonna hang out here. There's, we're marking fish, so I mean, they just don't like what we're throwing down, but uh, maybe we'll get one more here before we have to pack up and head out. Get some Minnesota fish slime on Rob's hands. That's just frustrating, man. Like you, they, they, he can't. He, he's like right there on top of it. He's like, I wonder if I can trick him or not. Right, dude. <laughs> See, look at him coming up to it again. Raise it up. There he comes. So yep. Isn't that crazy, dude? Dead gummit, man. They don't like us today. <laughs> Better luck next time, right? Yes, sir. Oh, look at them down there. They're taunting us. All right, guys. So we're packing it up, heading out. Like I said, we only had, you know, 45 minutes or an hour to fish here after work. But uh, we'll be back again. Maybe we'll get after them on, on a different lake. But uh, this is just a little pond we've done well uh, in the summertime out here for northern. So maybe we'll have to throw a uh, tip up out or something next time. All right, guys, so we appreciate you checking out this episode. We, uh, as always, please hit that subscribe button. Show us some love here at Tired Axe Outdoors and, uh, you know, support the channel. Share the videos, like the videos. Check us out over on Instagram and uh, give us a follow there. That's day-to-day uh, -day stuff. Try to do daily photos and uh, keep you guys in the loop as to what's going on in the world of Tired Axe. All right, guys, so until next time, we'll be here waiting on a flag. <laughs>